Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. Uh, this video is another scam bait video that I made um, with some recorded audio from a scammer calling in. This particular scammer tries to get you to affirm uh, by saying yes uh, to um, so-called allow for reps to call you up. Um, the one thing you never want to do is say yes. Uh, you could say this is correct, or in my case, I, you know, I'll still say, um, I give permission for you to, uh, tell the reps that they can call me and I give permission for the reps to call me, but, uh, never ever say yes. I think in this recording, I did say yes once, but it was no harm since it was kind of like for a different type of question. But um, if you get scammers calling in, um, they ask you, is this so-and-so? And you say, that is correct. Never say yes, uh, because they can use that to, you know, have an audio agreement, which is kind of like contractu contractually binding to, you know, try to, um, you know, make it uh, legally binding of sorts. But usually with scammers, um, from India, uh, this uh, is something they don't use that often. They just try to trick you mostly to give, you know, credit card or bank account information so they can steal from you. Okay, I added some gameplay footage from Saints Row 4, so I hope you enjoy. Take care and God bless you one and all. Booga booga. Hi, good day. Am I speaking with Jack Chapman? Uh, yes, you are. Hi, Jack. My name is Rick. How are you? Uh, doing okay. Okay, great. Um, anyway, I'm calling you from bestautocodestoday.com, Jack. The reason for my call is because we are partnered with a country stop auto insurance provider, and we are looking to save you up to 30% of what you are currently paying. You are currently paying for auto insurance, correct? Uh, yes, I am. Now, if we got you a better deal than what you're paying your auto insurance now, would you consider it as an option? Possibly. Is that a yes? Uh, I need to hear um, uh, what the options are mm -hmm. with this uh, insurance company. Jack, I'm not asking you to make any changes right away in this call. What we will do is we will process some of your information in our system, and our insurance specialist will give you a call back to let you know the rates that our agents can offer you. So you can look at the rates, make a comparison with your current plan, and if you see a difference, you can go ahead. Otherwise, you can choose to stay the way you are. Okay, Jack? Okay. Okay. Uh, right right now, now I, I can barely hear you. I've got uh, some noise going on in the background. Yes, it's an other agent um, making call, Jack. Do not have a problem with that. Now, Jack, if we got you a better deal or a cheaper rate on your auto insurance, you would consider it as an option, right? Uh, possibly. Uh, which uh, insurance uh, company are you guys affiliated mm -hmm. with? Um, yes, um, Jack. Actually, uh, we are also partnered with other insurance companies such as Geico, Progressive, Allstate, State Farm, and many more. Now, if we got you a better deal than what you're paying your auto insurance now, would you consider it as an option? I would have to see what you're offering. I'm a person mm -hmm. that does comparison. So Yes, of course. So, Jack, again, if we got you a better deal than what you're paying your auto insurance now, would you consider it as an option so we can proceed? As I said, I need to hear uh, what uh, what's being offered. I can't give you a confirmation either way on that until I see, you know, what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful. I understand you, Jack. Yes, of course. I understand you. Now, but I'm not asking you to make any changes right away with this call, Jack. We can give you an updated code so you can make a strong comparison and see how much money you could be saving. Also, our insurance specialist will give you a call back to let you know the rates from multiple companies who are all competing for your business, okay? Okay, Jack? All right. Now, after we send you the codes and upon reviewing it, if you see a cheaper rate or a better deal with a wider coverage in auto insurance, of course, you will definitely consider this as an option, right? 
Well, anything that saves me money but provides me the same service mm-hmm. will be all right. Mm-hmm. So, is that a yes? Um, as I said, I need to see uh, uh, what we're getting here. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, whenever those calls come through, you know, I'll deal with the reps. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jack, what, um, what I'm responsible to that is our insurance specialist will be calling you back to give you the best possible options that you can get. But, but for now, right, um, just go ahead I need to gather to some info. Call. Yes, I need to uh, gather some information from you so we can make it proceed. And we can send you outdated codes. And our insurance specialist will be calling you back right after this. So again, Jack. After we send you the codes and upon reviewing it, if you see a cheaper rate or a better deal with a wider coverage in auto insurance, of course, you will definitely consider this as an option, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Now, Jack, how many vehicles do you have in total in your household? I have two. Um, again, Jack, you, um, so you would consider this as an option, right? Uh, if the rates sure? are better than mine. Um, mm. that's what I need to see. Yes, of course. So is that a yes? Well, I need to see the rates first. Uh, I'm not uh, going to affirm anything um, or make any agreement without, you know, making a comparison with what I currently have. I understand you, Jack. So, Jack, again, how many vehicles do you have in total in your household? Two. Okay, so you have two. What year Mustang, make and model of your car? 1996 Mustang and a 2016 Mustang. 2006 Mustang. 2016 Mustang. I'm sorry. Okay. 2016 Mustang GT. And a 1996 Ford Mustang Mustang. GT, right? It's Ford. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is your current insurance provider? Um, actually, my insurance uh, provider is kind of being provided for me by my employer uh, due that I've uh, worked for them for a certain mm-hmm. amount of years. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean so it won't save name? them money. The what account, name for, the, the account for my name, they just pay. Uh, my insurance is State Farm. Okay, State Farm. Now, how long have you been insured in State Farm? Uh, see, uh, with the auto insurance, um, uh, it's mm-hmm. been about, uh, four, maybe five years. Is that only for auto insurance? Um, okay. So it's about, what is that again? I'm sorry. Uh, about four to five years on the, uh, auto insurance. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when is the expiration date of your policy? It's okay if you don't remember. I'd have to look up on the paper uh, right now on that it's office. Okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, sir. So, how often do you renew your policy? Is it every monthly, semi annually, uh, quarterly, or yearly? It's yearly. Okay. Now, I also want to send a copy of the code to your email so you can review this one in front of you. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Your email is k i n g k l i c k. 83 at l.com? Uh, no, that's changed. Jack. Okay, uh, that is wrong? Right. I had to change uh, email addresses because I was getting mm-hmm. a ridiculous amount of spam. Okay, I understand. So, what is your email address again? Okay, it's you have the a- email address? It's H A V I L A H. K N I G H T at Gmail dot com. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna spell it out again. And correct me if I'm wrong. It's H A V I L A H K N I G H T at Gmail dot com. Is that, that is correct? Okay. Now, let me check. I'm going to verify your email address real quick, if it's valid. So, is this the best phone number to reach you? Uh, yes. Okay. Your phone number is 
seven six five two seven one three six nine nine, correct? Correct. Okay. To ensure we have your info updated in the system, your zip code is four six nine zero one, correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, Jack, just to let you know, this call is being recorded for quality assurance purposes. Now, to confirm with you once again, you have expressed consent for insurance agents to call you back to give you the new quotes and discuss options with you. Now, please say yes if you agree, um, Jack. Uh, just go ahead and let them call me up. I will deal with mm -hmm. it myself. Oh, okay, of course. So, is that a yes, Jack? Well, I'm not going to confirm everything over the phone, but uh, I get permission for these people to call me once. When I I, I'm really, I'm really screwed. System. I mean, this is practically a cold call, so I'm going to be really screwed. Yes, scrutinous. I understand you. Jack, um, when I process your info to our system, it automatically schedules a call back. But if you let the next rep know that you're busy would like to be called back at a later date, that will be no problem at all. You can also ask that you only receive the quotes via email, okay, Jack? Is that okay? Uh, that'll be all right. Um, inform the people that call me to call no later than uh, 1 o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. Yes, that's not a problem, Jack. Now, to confirm with you once again, Jack, you have expressed consent for insurance agents to call you back to give you the new quotes and discuss options with you. Now, please say yes if you agree. I've already so given you permission to uh, give them, you know, the call me up. Yeah. So uh, just go ahead and let oh, them know. Is that a yes? Uh, I'm, not gonna yes? I'm not going to confirm anything over the phone. I'm just simply giving permission for them to call me. So, Jack, is that a yes, Jack? Uh, whatever you want it Hello? to be. Yes, just to make sure, Jack. Well, I already get, I've response? already given permission for you know them to call me mm -hmm. up, so just you know yes. inform them to call me up. Um, just to make sure, Jack, you have uh, the, the, the permission. Prob the problem is, is I got to make sure that it's legit and uh, yes. not a scammer. Scammers will use um, my responses, you know, especially if I use the Y word uh, to. No, Jack, um, we are just following up your false, uh, false. Jack, uh, we are um, just following up or. On our protocol, we need uh, the confirmation of the, of the customer right here, so we can make sure that you're interested in our deal. Now to confirm well, with you problem, again, the problem is that, you're not the one making the deal. It's going to be these reps that are calling me up that are going to make the deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Now to confirm with you once again, John, I uh, Jack, I mean, I'm sorry. You have expressed consent for insurance agents call you back to give you the new quotes and discuss options with you. Now, please say yes if you agree. Oh, I already told you they have permission to give me a call. So, um, as I said, I've got to be cautious. I can't use the Y word because that could be used against me with like scammers and whatnot. I've had no problem with people that have called me before about last week with, you know, offering. No, Jack, I guarantee you that, Jack, I guarantee you 100% that. These are companies 100% legit and no scam. I promise you. Well, the thing is, you're, you're a thick you're good to and Indian and your name is Rick, which I yeah, find Jack, hard to um, believe. Jack, you're a good man. You um, you give information from you. You're sincere. You give your information with with kind. And I won't, um, I won't be taking advantage of that. Now, Jack... Once again, to confirm with you, we have expressed consent for insurance agents call you back to give you the new quotes and discuss options with you. Now, please say yes if you agree. Well, I disagree then. Um, looks like uh, I'm not going to be receiving a call from these reps if they're so stringent on me given, uh, you know, one answer or another, even though I just explicitly given permission for them to give me a call. Uh, that's right. So you're not flags with me. So, Jack, what do you mean? Well, uh, I'm rather dubious about this call uh, being legit. Um, you know, this is kind of like mm -hmm. a cold call. I did not uh, sign up for any any um, quotes or anything, not in the past, mm -hmm. like, four-plus years. And usually those that um, information yes. only stays yes. in the database for a year. This is only an option, Jack? 
because our insurance specialist will be calling you back to give you the best possible options that you can get. Otherwise, you can choose to stay the way you are. That's why, Jack. Uh, things are going all right with the way things are. Uh, it's within my affordability, mm -hmm. so I am content. Mm -hmm. So, you're not interested yet? Uh, probably be staying put where I'm at right now. Okay. 